Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the smoothiest, juiciest entertainment goodies without holding back on truth, facts, and of course, controversies. It's the Bob Daddy vibe all day, every day, in case you wonder why I'm looking this way. You already know I'm doing giveaways. As you know, I'm Ifel Lua Shikai, and I've got Ifel Mai and Quincy Jones with me. What's going on, people? I'm great. And he's a black man, yeah. Mm? He's a what? He's a black man. I, I feel I have to give the... Really? The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Every the time? Clothes. We're all yeah. black. We're all black. No, I mean Chrissy Jones. Your name is Ifollow Oshike. You don't need to explain. Mm. Ifollow am I? Mm -hmm. Chrissy Jones, you're like... Yeah, yeah and he's a black man. Yes, yeah. yes. yes. You, you have gotta, to say that all yeah. the time. You got to put some clothes Yeah, I'm it. black. I'm proud. <laughs> yeah, as, I'm you, as you should be. Yes. So there's a song that is trending. If they gave him another option now, he was. Have you guys seen the song trending? Which one? Have you heard it? Which of them? Valentine is coming. Where is your boyfriend? Valentine is coming. <laughs> where is your girlfriend? I can have a well, boyfriend. There is no where is your girlfriend. There's no 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 no. Now we're making one. Uh, okay. <laughs> what where you want to deny? Girlfriend? What are you doing for Valentine? Bro? So if you don't have a boyfriend Me? or girlfriend, mm -hmm. you cannot celebrate. Valentine's. No, yes, you can now, but we're just isn't asking. It like, this thing. Isn't it like a lovers thing? No, not just lovers. I mean, try to be your family, girlfriend. Maybe it's just somebody you're. Yeah, that's, you know. that's I think I think that's a sad person's excuse. <laughs> <laughs> a lonely person's excuse, actually. <laughs> No, 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 don't lonely, shame. Don't lonely shame, shame, shame people, please. We don't do that on we this table. We don't do that. How are you celebrating Valentine? Uh, I'm going home to so spend it with my loved ones, my mama. Oh, mom, that's sweet. That's sweet. Brother, How about you? Sister. I was going to ask you first. But <laughs> yeah, I celebrate the way I've been celebrating for the past how long? Yeah. Which I is? Be by myself and have fun. Okay. Or probably work. You know, mm, I'll probably okay. be having um dinner with my girlfriend, lunch dinner, yes, and a lot of outing. You know, lunch few, dinner. Yeah, and you know, we'll be having, we'll be eating breakfast? out throughout no that. No breakfast. Day. Breakfast, no. The breakfast is special. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> special <laughs> breakfast. You, we won't be up out. We won't be out of bed till noon. Sorry. Ah, it's okay. <laughs> I want really? to be like you when I grow really? up. Really? Sure? <laughs> we, we we sure can't. Isn't be that out. really long? We can't be out of bed till noon. Uh huh. We can't. When do you wake up? Where, 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 where we go? Are we going to sleep? <laughs> anyway, I'm just messing with you What's guys. What's a werewolf? I just, I just know I'm going to be doing a lot. Mm -hmm. But um, if you ain't got a boyfriend or a girlfriend, we're going to be the boo of the bullet. So stand a chance to win a Valentine's goodie bag, Kutsi, Uruko, Yoruba, Rewa, and Rumbis Bistro. Ten winners will be selected on February 14th, which is on Sunday, 2021. All you need to do is follow on Instagram at plus TV Africa at Yoruba name dot meanings and at Rum Bistro, Rum Bistro. Drop a comment telling us why you would like to win the Valentine's goodie bag and tag at least five friends. And yes, good luck. And yes, like I told you, we'll be the boo of the bullets, you know, Bob Daddy. Is the boo, Bob Daddy. If you're going to be too busy being in bed. I don't know why you're giving people false hope. Yes, but I'll be selecting while I'm in bed. <laughs> Multitask. I hope for. Yes. Okay. All right. can't I? I can do this, right? You'll be fine as well. I'll, I'll, I'll be <laughs> fine, yes. All right, so we're going to be opening the show with a video premiere. As you know, we're the first to always do it. And this is Onyeka by Bonaboy. Welcome back. Yes, we just blessed your screen with a brand new video from Bonaboy. No one has shown you that before, so thank me later. Yes, of course, thank my co mm -hmm. You know, without them, how can we bring you greatness? So I'm sure you guys enjoyed that from Bonaboy. And it's called Oyeka. So maybe later today, you guys will now begin to, you know, see it on YouTube and all the platforms. But for now, Plus TV is the only place you can catch it. Yes, so moving on to the first story of the day. Are we Shall ready? Shall we? Mm -hmm. Ready? Hey, hey, hey. Yes. Cut the table. All right, Break so it. celebrity businessman Nedun Woko has cried out for help on an assassination attempt on his life and that of his youngest wife, Regina Daniels. Ned made this known at a press conference, organized alongside his wife, Regina, on Thursday, February 11th in Abuja. According to the former member of the House of Representatives, the plot was leaked by an inmate in Kujay Prison, Abuja, who overheard other prisoners talking about the attempt on his life. Prince Ned Nwoko added that he may have been in connection with a piece of land in Del Delta State which he intends to construct a university on and also a disagreement involving who the next king of his town would be. The politician added that the inmate's question died mysteriously after a series of threats following his release from prison. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. It's a very serious situation, very, honestly. Very serious. Um, an attempt on a man's life is, is, is not one to joke around with. Mm. And honestly, I saw this post and I read the comments and mm. a lot of people were taking it trivial. Mm. And I found that quite irritating, to be mm. honest. Yeah? But aside from that, um, 
Uh, so, some might say it, it, it is a repercussion of you know being in the public eye a little too mm. much, right? But I don't see a problem with being in the public sure. eye a little too much, or however you choose to. Uh, but deciding to want to kill somebody is serious, mm. right? And um, uh, the part that read the guy who leaked the information died, died mysteriously. mysteriously actually got me very, very scared. Worried. Yeah, that's like, what I was What about. exactly yeah. is this? I guess it's no longer a banter. When, no, it's uh, not. You know, sometimes you can think that somebody's coming for you, but then nobody is, you know, and it can be like, you're just like tripping or you're doing too much. But yeah. when I, like you said, when I saw the part of like, the guy yeah, I'm like, oh, okay, you should be worried. I, I did see that people were being, um, triv uh, taking it lightly on social yeah. media. But, you know, first of all, these are not the kind of things you take to social media anyway. So there are just some things that you don't expect some level of seriousness f from people when it comes to certain things. Um, and I think this is one of those things. I hope that he has done more than just take it to social media. Like, I hope he's done more like, like putting, security putting and, uh, people, in, you know, security in check and also his family and things like that. Because if they cannot get to you, like the movies will tell us, not that I have any idea. But, you know, if they cannot get to you, then they'll get to your son or your children or your loved one and all of that. So I think everyone around him needs to be really alert. And he kind of has a large family. Mm -hmm. Plenty, and plenty wise. Me, plenty, I, plenty. Mm. I just see a lot of power play here yeah, because um, the problems, you know, the, the things that he's pointing his fingers at that could be the reason why they want to assassinate him or somebody from his family. You know, building a school on the land, like, um, taking the next king and all of that. So I think this is a lot of power play going on. So I think he should just try and sort it out because there's really nothing any of us can How do exactly about it. How exactly do you such, such, sort such a situation out? Mm. He's a prince. Mm. Uh, I, I'm not sure, but provided he's supposed to be the king, mm. how do you sort that out? You say, no, I'm not going to be king. No, some people don't want to. I don't think a Ned Walker would want to be the king. Do you Why know? not? Ned, uh, Why Ned not? Walker. What? Why not? Why would Why you think? Not? Why would you think? I just, don't, I just don't know. I just feel a lot of people that are way more exposed these days do not really want that. They don't want that. So if you're called to be the king of your town now, I'm you won't take it? I'm not going to take it. You won't take it? Never. Depending Don't worry, I will, I will, take, I will take you there to take De depending, yeah. on the, depending on the money. <laughs> like, people will take it. And yeah. I, I, I think you... Now, that's the wrong reason. You see what I'm talking about? Now, I'm saying depending on the money, that's the wrong reason to want to be the if king. If I story, people oh, want to be the king till tomorrow. Be like, it's forever. not... Yes, it's always going to no, be enticing. Not in this part of the world, trust me. Especially, Especially in this part of this world. when you know the things you have to do to be the king. Things you have to do like what? Traditional from, rights. You see the heart of the previous king. No, who you said that? What? <laughs> hey. I'm just saying, guys. I say the things we hear, bro. Nollywood. Hey, Nollywood has fought us, guys. Nah. <laughs> the money involved in being a king will always be attractive. Money will always mm. be attractive. Yeah. And people would always want to be king. See, people love power. More mm. than anything else. I would say power for humans are like... On, on the top of the of, of the food chain. So that I, I don't think that idea is a wish true. Um, anyway, what I wanted to say with this story is that sometimes when the person is, uh, I don't explain it, I don't think he's as innocent as he claims he is that, mm, oh my gosh, yes, course, you know, the land, oh, eh, mm, I feel like- How did they, you get the land? Do you understand? Like maybe, maybe it's not as simple as you just planting a, a school on there, like, did you get the land appropriately? Did you, you did know, are your hands really- Are your hands really clean? I apologize, clean? but. I'm totally against that because in Nigeria, mm. land situations have been one of the worst situations Bottles, ever. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, let's even leave the metaphysical part because we don't even see it. Mm. But people have all lost their lives. People have almost lost their lives. My mom bought a land. I remember that. Bought a land. And someone was trying to take the land. And mm. then threats keep... Uh, uh, threats kept on coming. Mm. I, I say, I beg in the name of God, leave um, Jonathan, her, her uh, hard-end money. Mm. Jonathan, it's, it's a situation where anybody can do anything to anybody over land dispute. Mm. Jonathan, it's very common in Nigeria. But it's not very, just, very it's common. not always... So you don't have to, what I'm saying is, you don't you have, have to, to be... be the bad guy. You don't have to be the bad guy. But it's possible that you be the bad guy and still but have But it's issues. also a possibility. Yes. Have you not seen people yes. that are You can't be the bad guy that don't belong exactly. to you. Exactly. No, I understand, but I'm just trying to say you don't have to be... I yeah. mean, there's nothing you can do to make it justifiable for your life to I be taken apart. So I'm not trying to say that, oh, um, because he did this and that's why um, he deserves to be treated this way. No, I'm not saying that, you know, I'm, I'm not saying that at all. But yeah. I'm saying, I'm trying to create a, a theory here that it is possible that his hands are not 100% clean. And mm. that's why he's getting the heat that he's getting. Possibility. 
Well, that's another angle. But <laughs> I'm just saying, it's another angle, really. Yes, yeah, so you really have to look at all the sides. And that's why I said whatever it is, how they're able to sort it out, especially when, you know, innocent lives are involved. Because okay. your business beginning to affect that of your family, that is... But I want to ask you, do you think um, him making it a public thing makes the situation better or worse? Yes, I think um, there, there's something they say, like when you're in trouble and you know people are coming for you, it's better to spread the word so that you know people want favors. So wh whoever hears it next is not coming like a surprise. You know you're actually taking it serious. So the word gets to you faster. I right. think it's a strategy, yes. It's right. Part, I mean, yeah. Do you think it would maybe like, what's the word? Like maybe, um, what's the English now? And not encourage people to take the actions they wanted to take against you. Like let's say, go for it, I'm the one that's I planning. Think, I, think it's, I think it's an advantage. And mm. I think it might be dissuade the, them that's, or, that's the English. or mm -hmm. get them to replan. Yeah, yeah or something. Right. Because there's too much attention to going on. Because right. obviously now Everybody the whole world knows, knows that yeah, they're trying to kill So anything that happens now, yeah, exactly. The next is if, if, building, if, everyone is looking out for it. Yeah, exactly. If a waiter passes with a plate and asks, fuck a knife, he's a guy! He's a guy! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I said, no cap. Because that's the only reason that's the only reason why I can see a grown man taking such a serious thing to social media. Like obviously a lot of things happen, like his business is um, threatened and a lot of things. But he doesn't bring it to social media all the time. So why are you bringing it? Like what is the might, as you said, I think it might be a strategy actually. Mm. Mm -hmm. And it should be, and I hope it works, man. We just hope that um, you know, they, they're safe. You know, yes, the Umwoko family, stay safe. All right, moving on to the next story. Shall my we? values are very strong. I have my own children, and they are very strong in that regard, too. I am not one to be involved in politics, but you see, not all your children are bound to follow you. One of my sons, who incidentally is an actor, has decided that he wants to be a politician. Most of the young stars have been bugging my phone, asking me to endorse my son that they want him as president. And I get amused, but they keep insisting, Daddy, we want you to be the president of this country. We like like him. He's disciplined, sympathetic. He believes in a lot of people. They have bothered me so much that today I'm here by press. I hereby present to you, he has, he has my blessings, he has my endorsement. Any day he decides to veer off from the discipline under which he was raised, I will withdraw him from the race. It shall be well with you, my son, since it has been your ambition to go into politics and the desire to run for the presidency of this country. May the Lord assist you. Now, Sorry, this is did, Pete. Did, did, he, did, he, did, he, did he at any point say, the purple that lands on the mango tree. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, I'm sure he couldn't write it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because mm, mm. it, it wouldn't bring out the juice. Yeah, that finesse. That, yeah. so that should, we, should we help him out? We, says it. So tell you us, tell us one. Stomach. Tell us one like, that you know. The crocodile hmm. that has two eyes hmm. does not exist in dirty water. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I just randomly. A man that, that is going to the bathroom <laughs> naked is about to shower. Wow. Mm, deep, deep. Wisdom. Mm, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, anyways, um, I like this. I like this because you for a long time has been in our faces, especially when it comes to social issues. You know, he's mm -hmm. dabbling the air and there. We've disagreed with him. We've mm. agreed with him. We felt yeah. like, what are you talking about? Uh, but most of the time, the guy comes correct. And um, you see a lot of people in the comment section. I don't think he's, he's not really one of those people that will put out a tweet or put out a post and then they really get bashed a lot. I think he has a solid fan base. And this endorsement from his dad will go a long way because you know, Peter Doce is like a legend in the Nollywood industry. Mm. Okay, go a long Everybody. way in which department? In, in the entertainment department and right. using his own fan base to support his son's fan base. And I think this is just letting us know that Yul is actually going to run in the next presidency race. Mm. Yes, that's so, just what it is. It's a so, public service announcement. Right. In my view, I agree with almost everything you said, to be very honest, because um, everyone has been, everybody on Twitter has been going on about, even people who are not even interested in the election, mm -hmm. keep going on and on about mm -hmm. why isn't, why hasn't Peter Doce, um, uh, what's he called, uh, giving the support to his son, son yeah. and this and that over and over and over and over again. So now uh, that he's coming out finally to say, oh yeah, you have my blessing, I think it's also... Um, a back door to say, oh yeah, <laughs> you will be running for president. Basically. Yeah. Do you understand? Uh, yeah. It's a good strategy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Sounds like House of Cards. Uh, I mean, if, I mean, if I'm going but, to if I'm going to leave the space of of um, my father is blessing me, da, 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 let's talk about what he's actually doing. I'm not really a big fan of it. 
I mean, it would be really nice, in my opinion, to have a president that is not from the northern or Yoruba, whatever. I think it would be nice for the sake of history and progression of the country to like have Why a are different. Eyes opening, like <laughs> so honestly speaking, my opinion, Shai, I just feel like it would be nice to have that kind of change because, yeah. I mean, why not? Why not? But um, w am I supporting his, the idea of him being a running for president? Absolutely not. Why? Um, why? Because why he not? has not had any history of serving yes, the people. Oh, he has? Yes, yes. I think he's okay, currently working as a um, special advisor or assistant to the governor of the state. And that, uh, yeah, yeah okay, he that ran does not... for the governor of the state. I think he didn't win, but he ran for the governor of the state as well. Mm. Let me ask you this: What really, what really, what really qualifies, um, what really qualifies one to be to the be, president? Personally speaking, I think politics is so um, tricky and so. Delicate in that Isn't matter that, that they make it appear so. I don't so, know. I've never been. I've never been be... in politics, but what I know but is that it, it's important. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's important. And for me, I feel a lot more comfortable when I know someone has a history of serving the people, mm -hmm. especially in bigger, and then they in still bigger come back positions. And do the same thing they've been doing for over and over and over again. Bad governance. Uh, that uh, see, I'd see, rather, I problem. still rather somebody who knows what they're talking about. The only time I've seen firsthand somebody in politics, um, somebody that was not in politics, jump into politics, um, was Donald Trump when he went from entertainment Definitely to... Definitely the wrongest example. <laughs> and, and you see, that for me was a bit alarming. Like, you yeah. know, someone who jumps from, um, what's it called, Poli uh, entertainment to politics, mm. just because you are charismatic and you have a good mm. fan base. Mm. And, I think it was more about and business. And your, your, you know, I don't, I don't know if that's, that's a good well, enough reason for me. I think that in me. itself is a problem because if you're talking about we want the people who have served to keep ruling or to be the ones that and are we're back in the Bula. same square. Yeah, so we're going to be repeating the same. It's like recycling the same mm. set of people, the same set of people with same values of you know stealing money, and same you know, understanding and of same corruption, corruption, everything. All of that. Okay, now, because the, because the person is the, you, you guys are now talking about age, right? And recycling people. Just, I'm not saying that the same president should come back again four years after. Yes, I'm I say once somebody, somebody that is that has been there. I, I think, I think have you checked out our presidential options? I'm not even looking at Nigeria to be honest. Like. When I'm talking about that, you you know this on the table better than I do. That I know nothing about Ni Nigerian politics. Oh, so I'm not even using that as a okay. point of reference. Yeah. I'm using other people. Like, okay, if you take America for example, someone like Biden now. Mm. Biden has been serving yeah. the government yeah. from Barack from, Obama, from Barack Obama, Obama is another yeah, example. So, yeah. Serving the government from day one, and I don't mean serving the government as in like you're being a president and you're being a governor, and then we are recycling um up um, um the the. The way we don't want to be local that, government that's not, that's chairman not what and we're talking about now. Even talking just... about simple things like being a counselor, even mm. observing. Serving. Mm. You have you can't take away from the fact that it is important to at least even have an idea of this of Rashford. the of, yes of, so, of the of the you environment see, that you you're see, talking let, about. Let me come from this angle. One, I don't think anyone who would decide to run for president in the first place would not know anything about it. True. You don't just wake up and say, "Oh, I want well, to Well, Trump president. did that, so it is possible. But not exactly. Sure. That mm. was obviously in the works for a very very long time. Yeah, from the outside. Lines, the lines have always been there. Call me a conspiracy theorist, mm -hmm. but the lines have always been there. The messages have always been subtly passed. Mm. Do you understand what I mean? Mm. But it's not even about Donald Trump now. It's about Yula Duce. Mm. And um, as far as I'm concerned, I don't see anything wrong with him trying to run for president. Mm. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. I think we've gone to a point in the country where um, it's more about who actually truly means well and um, uh, but can really you not about mean well and just not have an idea of what you're doing? Like, I can mean well, can but mean my well, shoe does not fit know what the you're position. Doing. Yeah. Yes, you won't. I'm very sure that you won't come out in with your full chest, as they say, to say that you want to be president if you just mean well and you don't know what you are doing. Anyway, I mean well, you mean well. I, I, so I don't you, think he means well. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. So you think it's possible yeah. for him point. to mean well and you, so you he think, does. So you I think believe he, has he does an know. Idea, yes, right. I do. Yes. Enough ideas I, I to run the president. Do you know one of the worst situations you can ever be in? Mm. Being ignorant. Do you understand? If he comes out and says, "Oh, I want to be president," and then you try to have a conversation with him and is zilch up here. Nah, bro. That's the worst slam ever. You're not going to well, see movie we just, we just hope um, it meets <laughs> up to standard. Like you said, we would like to see you know other tribes rule this country. We're tribe inclusive when it comes to the presidency, right? Yeah, Are so. we? Well, why not? I'm just saying on the table. Think, I just think it's table, about the person. Why, Honestly, so? I just think it's about the... I don't care. If you like, let him be coming out of the sun for the first time in this life. 
Mm. Just let him know what he's doing and let him do it right. And put the people first, right? Yeah, and not keep scaring me with four prize every time. <laughs> now, every day I rebudget my life. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, we need to move on to the next story. And yes, it's on uh, DJ Copy. Mm. Are you guys ready? DJ that Coupe. video, that video. <laughs> that video made my evening actually. So, we I'm called kind it. of laughing from this particular video. Are we going to play it again? Wow. I, I hope we play it. Wow. I, I, I hope we can play it. All right, so we called the Jacobi filed a lawsuit against Israel of the MW for defamation of character and demanded a public apology from him over his statement reacting to the lawsuit. Um, Israel DMW to pressure and apologize to the Dicks jockey via a recent video on his IG page. David O reacting to the shared screenshot from his video call with Zlatan and Israel with a laugh emoji. Well, let's see that video. My name is Afiari Israel. I want to apologize to you. Talk to your telegram. For my last post, on my last post, which you know, I'm the that the issue. I'm very sorry for the embarrassment that has cost you, you and your person and your family. I want to say, please don't be offended, please. Please don't be offended, please. It will never happen again, please. And if I'm reciting that statement, I'm sorry, it's false. That's actually what I heard. Don't be offended, please. He's actually one well head. It's not, it's not what I Your father and I have been good friends. I don't know if he would have played that part. <laughs> <laughs> hey, gosh. Alrighty, um, alrighty, alrighty. alrighty. Uh, that well, 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 well. Like I said, when we're discussing the story when it broke, and um, DJ Copy was suing the guy for, you know, the formation of mm. character after he sent the gelato song, you know. Mm. He, 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 he said a lot. For it. He said a lot. And um, mm. the Hilton trip for the fundraiser mm -hmm. and all of that. Zlatan did not see one naira. Mm. You know? But it's actually, all of that. He's actually but what he hates. He hates. Hate. He, 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 <laughs> so he's here, see. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. He's not, he is. He didn't say it with his full chest. Yes, he yes, did. yes. Now he's coming out with his full, full chest. chest. <laughs> and his chest was really full. Ah, man. That was the most remarkable video. You know, I've seen my whole entire life. That thing was not from his heart. It was proper, proper faking. Yes, no, but he was very. As in yeah, he was the active, the active. Yeah, the I'm sure well. they called like an RMT. I'm Stand like this. You know what? I'm even sure that they did. <laughs> they did few takes. Like, I'm pretty sure he said, no, 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 let me do it again, let me do it again. And then when it, when the break is like, he's turning at this camera, like, you know, stupid girl. Yeah, let's do it again. I feel is like this, that's what is he's this doing. what it really is? But 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 okay, let's let's bring you back. Let's make should we calm down? Yeah, let's, calm. let's calm down. No, no, calm down no. Let's calm down. In my opinion. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, wait. No. Let's ask this man. This man seems to Oh no, I, I I have a lot to say. Alright, so tell us. So clearly I'll start with the fact that both of you are taking sides. Right, side which is taking? fine. Which side are we taking? So, which side um, are we taking? <laughs> so we're not taking side. We're just no, no, saying no. that it's clear. It's clear because <laughs> you're making fun of Israel. Yeah. Mm. So let me start with this. <laughs> Wait. Let me start with this. Right. I think along the line, a lot of people misunderstood the entire concept of the con of the of the situation. Hmm. All right? Educate us, please. Wait, please. Wait. Relax. <laughs> relax. relax. I did Shit. for you. I did for you. Okay. All right. So. Initially, when this situation started, mm. it was from Copy, mm. right? Copy saying, oh, um, uh, what's it called? Ten months that's later, I haven't even seen time. Mm. That's unblocked me and all of that stuff. Mm. And then um, uh, Israel wasn't the first person to speak, mm -hmm. right? A lot of people don't know that. Mm. Now, the emphasis on the entire conversation wasn't even about the song. It was about the fundraiser. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? But now, what from Copy's reply, she made it about the song and said she was going to file a, um, um, a lawsuit against Israel, which I'm like, wait, how is nobody seeing this? This is not about the song. Because Rexy also spoke about it, the producer, and says everyone got what they deserved from making the song. Gelato, he got his cut, mm. Zlatan got his cut, and obviously Copy got his lion's share, mm. uh, her lion's share, because obviously she's the owner of the song, song yeah. right? But this is not even about the song. This was about the fundraiser mm. and about how... Um, uh, Zlatan went there with, you know, the billion mm -hmm. people yeah. squad, right? Got there, performed, stayed there for a bit, and came back, and there was zero naira, zero couple, mm -hmm. right? right? Now, information came out saying, oh, um, uh, um, someone came out with information saying, oh, you know, there's a, there's a there was a mutual understanding. Mm -hmm. I performed Joy at her gig. Mm -hmm. I performed at her gig, and he performed at my gig, and all of that. Yeah. No, I apologize, but actually, this is the entertainment industry, mm -hmm. the status, right? If I put you outside and I say, oh, okay, um, I'm going to have a concert. 
I want you to be there. Mm. I want you to be there. No, no, no. You will definitely pull more crowd than me. Mm. And if you come call me to come attend your event, mm. I'm gonna I, I'm doing you a favor, mm. unfortunately, because mm. I'm way bigger than you. Mm. My fan base is a lot stronger. Mm. Do you understand what I mean? So either you like it or not, the biggest DJ copy record that she has is the one featuring Zlatan, mm -hmm. who really made the song pop. Mm -hmm. It is really Zlatan. Okay, yeah, she had a trending situation before the release of the song. Now that's even aside. Mm -hmm. You called a person, called up a person. He, should, well, he wasn't the only one who went to Abuja, by the way. You call your called the person, um, showed up for the fundraiser, performed at the fundraiser, and all of that. In between that fundraiser situation, there was actually a live Instagram video yes. that we all saw with mm -hmm. David O. Yeah, with David uh, you know, yeah. they're, they're, they just they share millions. Yeah. They just they share billions. Mm -hmm. And none that of them don't fun. reach me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And all of that. Yeah, fine. But you see, um, I think. There are lines to stuff, and I think you need to know when to draw the line between when you're actually using somebody or when you're actually friends with somebody. Because mm -hmm. this this personally touches me because I know firsthand how people just want to use everybody. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Um, and if you're to say who who's to gain more, mm -hmm. yeah, Copy had a lot more to gain, unfortunately. Okay, so but how does this... Why, why are you still saying... So, I, because I think this apology... That just happened <coughs> is based on powers that be that nobody we can control. That. <laughs> exactly my point. But you see, does that really make it right? Hey. See, let me tell you the reason why I'm, I'm laughing. Telling you that if you don't have the energy, see, don't involve fight, yourself don't get in it. Involved. And let me tell you something. We all knew this let me was tell you something. I was no. even, no. I was even, I was I don't even agree. Thinking, I, was even I don't think that's the that situation. I even still thought that maybe you were going about saying that. Um, trying to defend Israel's comments, and that's why he didn't need to apologize. Yes, think, my point nah, exactly. Nah, that's the whole nah, 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 summary. Nah, 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 nah. Business. No. Zlatan, who is involved, <laughs> is not coming out to say a word. You are the one now, that's carrying it on your head. It you see, the reason why this is... This if is so, Zlatan is stupid... Do you know the now, let me tell you something I said to somebody who sent me the video yesterday. I'd already seen it, but the person sent it to me. So I was like, I've seen it. So we're laughing about it. And the person was like, ah, do you think he was supposed to have taken it down? I said, ah, for all you care, copy and Zlatan not making a video call right now. They're laughing. They're behind us. Do I don't understand? think they are. I, no, I said no. I just I said it. I just are. said it. For all you mm -hmm. care, mm -hmm. they're probably laughing. And then I saw the video of Zlatan Davido and Israel. Mm -hmm. So to show you that it's a circle where even in the inner circle they know that bro, you shouldn't be dabbling into something that is not your business. Mm -hmm. Why are they laughing at it? I mean, so if if they were they were all together on the call and they were all smiling and laughing, mm -hmm. they were laughing yeah, at him. pretty much. They were laughing so, at him. So look, they were laughing at him. So yeah. look at this, right? Look at this. The video is funny. The video is funny. So why didn't you laugh? So but guess what? Because you guys are not even talking about what's important. No, you. And what's see, important uh, is uh, it looks wait, like. See, you're the one that's not taking. You're not talking about what's important. What is important here is, is that what? Israel made a fool of himself. How? Let me explain. How? Let me explain. He how. was well abreast about the situation. How. He spoke about it. No, he's saying it's what he heard. This is an apology video. What are you saying, bro? The reason why but I will still find. Oh my gosh, there. guys, let me talk. The reason there. why I will still find this funny. Was that this guy didn't just stop as a and a what's it called a story whatever on Instagram? He he took his behind to what's it called Twitter, tweeting rubbish confidently, if saying how. An interview, he would have. I'm, I'm telling you, t talking about how um, um copy did this and copy did that. Copy, <laughs> come here. Um, let's go to court. I have my lawyers too. You think I don't know as a lawyer? You can oppress me or um, oppress me. Do you know who my father is? Da, 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 because you think you're rich. Blah 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 blah. That this girl, <laughs> he was confident that this girl um should come and come out and say if he if he gave um, anybody money. Anybody money. No, he not started like making it. He not, you know what he problem. exactly. He not started com um, making this um, brag about how he's no longer talking about the um the gelato song now. He's now focusing on um what's it called. His focus it was the the, the, fundraiser. the the fundraiser that if you give um um what's it called um what's his name Zlatan. if you if you give Zantan anything let me know come on my foot chest da, 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 da. No he made all as these to the payment of anything because they are your titulars. they don't need receipts are you listening <laughs> to what you're saying are you guys listening to what you're saying no, no, let me let me wait, tell wait, let me tell wait, even wait, even wait, even wait. your Look, if, if, if this wasn't if this wait. wasn't a DJ copy or Ted Ola situation, you wouldn't be saying see, no, what you're saying. Please. I'm telling you this no, for a fact. No, it's no, no. See, you're, see, you see, the problem with you people here in this side of the world is that you're freaking entitled. And if you don't do things properly, then expect to be 
um, what's it called? Who's, exact, taking advantage who's entitled of, in this situation? As, uh, actually? Oh, see, Israel, Zlatan, all those people. If, no, if, no, you, no, if you, you tell how, me. How are they entitled? If you how tell, are they entitled? If you tell me. I'm sorry. If you tell me eh, that you want to use my clout to gather your fundraisers, I am putting it in paper. You do things properly. If I want to be paid, in a situation where you be, consider see, someone your see, friend, no, are you being don't serious? consider do you know me the your friend. Don't consider me your friend. Do things properly. And if you think that oh, you know my my mindset more than me, and you know that I'm going to be I'm going to be uh, what's it called responsible enough to pay you back, I can shock you and say I'm not going to pay you back. I don't like things like that. If anyways, I, if I've said to you that I'm paying you, I'm paying. You. If I do not say to you that I'm not paying you, I have the liberty anyways, to like do I what said, I want. Like so I if said, you, if you know if you know that your business is important if you know that your 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 industry your what's it called now your money making whatever your face your zantlan your brand is important put that thing in paper so, why would i fly okay, you over so, so and your manager time, and you all over okay no I, I will take your advice and i will be walking with a paper yes, in my car every time for the whole world to sign no, no, like okay. i'm like i'm okay, okay. So what, is, you you know, what is your point exactly my point is so, yeah. this one look um, you guys need to take the human factor into into play. Which human factor? Which is this? Wait, you're saying oh, you're oh, saying oh, they should have signed. Did they copy and they should have signed? No, they friends. were friends. Were they best? How friends? How but close they were, were they? friends. How close were these people? Honestly speaking, honestly okay. speaking. I saw how, I how, saw how, countless yeah. videos that had nothing to do about the music, and it was just them. Did they copy and that kind of guy? Yes, please. And we're, we're yes, please. I didn't say best friend. I never said best friend. Let's keep it calm. See, it's not a big deal. If you want me to give you money. You state it in there. And if it's not that you have well, not stated it there, you can You know what? Guess what, guys? Guess what, guys? Guess what, guys? Guess what, guys? Like I said, I don't agree. Like I said yesterday when we discussed the story, I said apologizing after the um, lawsuit doesn't reduce who you are. It doesn't make you less of a man. Obviously, it yes, you're trying to avoid issues. I'm trying to avoid... And I even respect Israel a whole lot more Obviously. for coming Why? out to say... Because he... Sorry. No, when you're wrong, say you're wrong. Well, is, but is he really wrong is that's, the first that, question. I don't know, but for a man to come out to apologize himself... He's saying things he, he do not want know no trouble. about. He's wrong. Do you understand? Why are you being he so don't want no trouble, and He I respect does not that. know what he's talking about, and he apologized for that. What anyways, so so anyways so it's really getting hard in here, and we will be going on a quick music break before the roof catches fire. So, yes, stay on.